the ancient Greek atomic theory, attributed mainly to Democritus and Leucippus, introduced the concept that everything is composed of invisible, indivisible atoms of infinite variety. They proposed different shapes for atoms, like hooked iron atoms explaining solidity and smooth water atoms explaining fluidity. Although simplistic and inaccurate by modern standards, their theories laid the groundwork for the development of atomic models. Today we know that atoms are composed of three main types of subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. One, protons. These are positively charged particles found in the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons in the nucleus determines the atomic number of an element and therefore its identity. For instance, a hydrogen has one proton, whereas a helium atom has two of them. Protons have a mass of approximately one atomic mass unit, or a mu. 2. Neutrons. Neutrons are neutral particles, meaning they have no charge, and they are also found in the nucleus of an atom alongside protons. The number of neutrons can vary within atoms of the same element, leading to different isotopes of that element. Like protons, neutrons have a significant mass, about 1 mu, which contributes to the overall mass of an atom. 3. Electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles that orbit the nucleus of an atom in electron shells or energy levels. Despite their charge, electrons have a much smaller mass than protons or neutrons, approximately 1 1836 of an amu. The arrangement and number of electrons in an atom determine its chemical properties and reactivity. The structure of an atom is characterized by a dense nucleus containing protons and neutrons surrounded by a cloud of electrons. The interactions between these subatomic particles determine the chemical and physical properties of the atoms and the molecules they form. One aspect of the atom that is often overlooked and taken for granted are the forces that hold them together. When you think about it, without these powerful forces within the atom, skyscrapers would collapse and bridges would fall into rivers and harbors. The world would literally come apart. What are the forces associated with the atom? Atoms are held together by various forces depending on the context in which they interact. Electromagnetic forces. In an atom, electrons are held in orbit around the nucleus by electromagnetic forces. The nucleus, which contains protons and neutrons, is positively charged due to the protons, while electrons are negatively charged. Opposite charges attract, so the electromagnetic force keeps electrons bound to the nucleus. Strong nuclear force. Within the nucleus itself, protons and neutrons are held together by the strong nuclear force, which is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. Despite the repulsion between the positively charged protons due to electromagnetic forces, the strong nuclear force is much stronger, but operates over a much shorter range and keeps the protons and neutrons bound together. This force is what holds the nucleus intact. Residual strong force or nuclear binding energy Outside of the nucleus, the residual effects of the strong nuclear force are what hold multiple nuclei together in the structure of a molecule. This is mediated through the exchange of mesons between nucleons, which, while significantly weaker than the strong force inside the nucleus, still play a crucial role in the stability of atomic structures in molecules. Weak nuclear force. This is another fundamental force which is involved in radioactive decay and certain types of nuclear reactions, but does not play a direct role in holding the atom's structure together in the same way as the electromagnetic and strong nuclear forces. Van der Waals forces. These are weaker forces that can affect atoms and molecules at larger distances than the strong and electromagnetic forces. They are not responsible for holding an individual atom together, but are crucial in the interactions between atoms and molecules, such as in the formation of liquids and solids from gases. In summary, the structure of an atom is primarily maintained by the electromagnetic force for electron-nucleus interactions and the strong nuclear force for nucleus stability. Understanding the structure of the atom is crucial because it underpins all of chemistry and physics, explains the properties of elements, and forms the basis of our understanding of energy, materials, and biology. Thanks for watching.